Hi, everybody. Welcome to our Tupperware Zoom party. Um, Ron, thank you for joining us today. And we're going to have some fun because we're going to cook up some fajitas in the microwave. You know, I love cooking in the microwave because there's so many great benefits. One of them is the fact that it doesn't heat up the house, so you don't have to turn the air conditioning up. And of course, it just saves a whole lot of time. But it's so much easier to clean up, especially with fajitas, because fajitas can really make a big mess in your kitchen. So today, we're going to walk you through the process of creating some yummy fajitas. You only need to cook in your microwave for about 20 minutes, and you've got some prep time. But a lot of that's things that you can do way in advance. So I bet you all of you go out to restaurants, you order fajitas, it's usually going to cost you anywhere from uh, $15, $19 or more, and so this is something that you can put on the table for a fraction of the price for your entire family. So today's products that we're going to be featuring is our amazing Smart Steamer. And one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about this Smart Steamer today is because it's actually on sale. It goes off sale on Friday, so this is an excellent time for you to invest in this and to put this into your kitchen. So the Smart Steamer is designed to help you to put meals on the table fast, but also healthier. Steaming foods is one of the healthiest ways that you cook. No nutrients are left in the water that you typically would dump out. So before I start with the fajitas, I just want to tell you about a couple of things that you might want to do with our Smart Steamer. Um, first of all, it's fabulous for steaming vegetables. So who doesn't like fresh steamed vegetables? You can put your broccoli inside of here, your Brussels sprouts, you can put your beans, your snow peas, anything like that. Place it in here. It actually comes with a little booklet that tells you how long to steam your vegetables for. And voila, they're done. So that's one of the things that you can do with this. Um, the second thing that I love about the smart steamer is that you can make desserts in it. That's right, desserts. So cheesecake, for example. You know, when I was growing up, I thought cheesecake was made with a box, jello cheesecake, but it's not. It's actually made by steaming it in a bath, usually in the oven, which is going to make your house pretty hot. So you can actually put your cheesecake ingredients into one of our Tupperware snack cups, and you can put five snack cups into the inside of our basket, and you can put these into the microwave and steam them up. You can actually make cupcakes inside here as well. So just mix up a regular cake mix, mm -hmm. and then what you'll do is put them in the snack cups about two-thirds of the way full. You can do five at a time. So you'll make several batches, and again, you're going to have all of your snack cups filled with cakes and very simple to be able to make a fast cupcake in the microwave under 10 minutes, again, without heating up the house. I love to do my eggs in here. Not hard-boiled eggs, but hard-steamed eggs. So you can put a dozen eggs inside, 12 eggs for 12 minutes, 10 eggs for 10 minutes. Don't try to do six eggs for six minutes. It won't work. So minimum 10. Put your eggs inside. and. Oh yeah, put them in the microwave, they're going to come out absolutely perfect. As soon as they come out of the microwave, you just douse them into a ice cold water bath. Those eggshells are going to peel right off and you're not going to lose part of your egg. And the best part is the yolk is going to be perfect. It's not going to have a little ring around it like Saturn does. So you're going to love making your hard-boiled eggs and never put one on top of the stove again. So this will be um, so those are just a few of my favorite things to do with the Smart Steamer. I truly do use it several times a week. So it's one of those kitchen gadgets that you're not going to buy and think, oh my gosh, I use that one time a year. Why did I buy that? You're going to be using it all the time. Let's talk a little bit about how it works. It's got several pieces to it. The bottom part is the water cavity container. So we're going to fill this up with water. And my trusty assistant's going to do that for me in just a minute because I want to be able to tip it upside down and dump water all over. So you're going to fill up water right to the fill line. So that's the first thing that you're going to need to do in order to be able to cook. Um, then you've got your large basket. And this is where you're going to put your food. And then it has the cover. Now here's why this works so well. This is actually metal encased in Tupperware. Now, you got to know how a microwave works to understand the concept behind this. See, a microwave is a six-sided metal box. Even that front window is a metal box. It's got that little screen with the tiny little holes, but it's metal. So when the microwaves come out of the top, it literally is bouncing around because microwaves bounce off of metal. They are attracted to fat, sugar, and water, and they can pass through paper, glass, and plastic. But this is a plastic. This is possible. So your water is here. It's attracted to that sugar water, so there's water, 
and it will pass through paper, glass, plastic, it passes right through there. It's going to heat up your water. And because this is metal, the microwaves literally bounce off of this and it cannot penetrate this. So the microwaves never cook your food. Which means that the water gets hot and it actually comes up through the bottom of this basket. And that is what is actually going to steam your food that's inside here. So it's a true steamer, not something that you're going to halfway microwave and halfway steam. It's a true steamer. Then we have one additional basket, a little bit more shallow, and this can go inside of the steamer if you need it. So if you're doing maybe a toothless meal, that works really well. Um, so sometimes you, I'll put the salmon, for example. Um, a lot of times when I do salmon, a little bit of a thinner uh, um, piece of fish, I'll put it in the top basket, and then we might have broccoli, and I'll put the broccoli in the bottom, and then the thinner uh, piece of on top. Or maybe you've got something a little bit thicker that you're gonna steam and it won't fit in here, so you can place that in the bottom, and then you could put something that's a little um, more shallow of a vegetable on top. Again, snow peas, asparagus, something like that that can fit right into the top. Sliced carrots would also work really well. So you'll actually be able to steam both things at the same time. That's what's really awesome about it. But today, since we're going to be doing fajitas, we're not going to need that. Um, we're just, because I'm going to put my tortillas in here, so we're only going to be putting our food right inside of there. So, as soon as my trusty assistant gets in here and put some water in the bottom of my smart steamer, we'll be ready to go. That's his cue. <laughs> so, let's talk a little bit about um, what we're going to be doing and using for our, um, our fajitas. First of all, you need to have some kind of container to mix all of your ingredients in because we're going to do a little a light marinade with it. And so, you could marinate this overnight if you wanted to. Um, I didn't want to do that today because I wanted to actually show you how to do it. But it is a little bit better if you do it in the morning or uh, just a couple of hours in advance. This is our junior season store, but I'm going to be honest, we don't sell this junior size. We sell one that's larger. I, I chose this one simply because it fits better on my counter because I've got limited space today. But we do sell this about two times a year. So if this is something that you really like, it holds about three to four pounds, make sure you reach out your, to your temple consultant and let her know that you'd like to be on her list of who she contacts when this does come out. Because again, it comes out about two times a year. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to uh, slice some onions, and we're also going to put in some sliced peppers. Now, I've already sliced up my peppers just to save a little time. So these are the yellow, orange, and red peppers. You could do green if you like. I'm not a fan of green peppers that are cooked, so I don't typically use those in my fajitas. Um, and this is what we're eating for dinner tonight, so I cook what I like, right? <laughs> so what you do is just slice them up just in little strips. The product that I have this in is actually our Tupperware Rich Smart. And this is the perfect solution for all your vegetables. When you come home from the grocery store, um, just make sure that you put all of your produce inside of a Rich Smart container. You're going to need a lot more than one. You know, most people put them in the crisper drawer, but it shouldn't be called a crisper drawer because it doesn't really work. If it did, we wouldn't be throwing out three to four hundred dollars worth of produce on an annual basis. And that's what the average family does. So what I want to do is bring your vegetables home. You're gonna put it in here, make it and dirty. Hey, make it mean to take it out of the plastic bag. Dirty means don't wash it. You're gonna place them inside of fridge smart containers. This is our, our smaller size. We have them in several different sizes. So pick the appropriate size that you need for your vegetables. And then you're gonna vent them. Now on the outside here, you'll see that there are rows of pictures of vegetables. And the reason Tupperware's done pictures is because we are sold in over 100 different countries, manufactured in about a dozen, but a cucumber looks the same here as it does look in Germany. So instead of writing it in German, it's all in pictures. Isn't that cool? The neat thing about this is your kids can help you with this too. So all vegetables that are in the same category can be housed together. You don't have to have a separate container for every vegetable. There's three different categories. There are the low breeders, and then there are the medium breeders, and there are the high breeders. High breeders or heavy breeders are like broccoli. And so they give off a lot of gas. And so you want to put them in a heavy breeder container, and you can put anything that is a heavy breeder in with your broccoli. And here's the most amazing thing. The little slider are on the very top here aligns with the category. So there's a button here on the top that's for the heavy, the medium, and the light. You just slide this little white thing that you see right there, very simple to do. And that adjusts the amount of oxygen that this is getting. And so that's what helps to prevent your food 
fruits and vegetables from going bad. You'll also notice on the bottom, it's kind of got an indentation here, and that's because it allows the water to go into there because they're going to sweat inside of the container. They do all the time. But this keeps the moisture off the vegetables so they don't get all mushy. I'm going to tell you what, you're going to be amazed at the amount of money that you're going to save with Fridge Smart. Never ever in all the years we've been selling this have I ever had a customer come back to me and say, that Fridge Smart, it doesn't work. What I've had customers do is come back to me and say, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. I put lettuce in my refrigerator, completely forgot about it, and four weeks later it was still there. And that's exactly what's going to be happening. So if you don't eat up your vegetables within a couple of days of buying them, you definitely are going to need this Fridge Smart. So again, I've got a half of a yellow pepper, a half of an orange pepper, and a half of a red pepper. And I'm just going to pour that right inside of my um, marinated pepper. Let me toss this in the sink just so we've got a little space. All right, next we're going to put some onions inside. And you know, we could slice the onion, but I love our mandolin because it slices them paper thin, and I cannot do that with the knife. So the mandolin is really cool because, first of all, it holds flat for storage, so it doesn't take up a lot of room in your kitchen cabinet at all. And the blades actually store right underneath it. So this will actually house both of the blades right here. I've actually got one that already installed right in the top, the one I'm going to use today. But that means your blades are nice and safe in this little plastic protector, so you're not going to slice your fingers off. So not only will this uh, slice, then it also will actually do the little juliennes for you too. So the way you'll use this, there's two knobs on the side. This first one has numbers one through 10. And as you turn this, it literally drops the plate on the top here. And by dropping that plate, it's gonna determine the thickness of your slice. So if you want something that's a really thick slice, like maybe you want a thick slice of a potato, I don't know if you can see that on camera. Um, but if you want a thick slice, you would put it all the way on 10. But I want a really, really thin slice, so I'm going to put this all the way over here on 2. Choose to be a good size. Now, there's another button over here, and that's when you pull at it. It has a lock, and then it has an unlock. And so when you turn it to this one, I call them the spears of death. You can maybe see that coming out. These sharp points. Uh, stick up and so that way if you're using this to slice with the sharp points up it's literally going to um, cause a little strip so that's how you would make french fries for example with the potato um, and then if you want really really tiny thinner ones you would turn it to the next knob okay so but I don't want any slice of little rings or, or any um, shreds I want just my onion so you're going to take your onion, a peeled onion and then you take your food grabber and this to me is one of the best parts about this. Not only is this a nice sharp blade here and safe, but I love this. And I have spent a lot of time looking online and looking in stores at other people's mandolins. And I've never seen another mandolin as safe as ours. And the reason why it's so safe is because it's got this outer rim right here. And so when you grab a hold of the food grabber, your fingers are protected as you're running down and slicing. You would have to make a really hard effort to get your fingers. I'd have to stretch my fingers to get them on the front side of that to get them in front of the blade. And it's not even comfortable to do that. So it, it's very, very safe. All you gotta do is take this and you just literally press down just like this. And it grabs your food. Now, I just wanna share with you that this has got a little um, silicone base on it. So now I've got it at an angle. That's the safest way to cut. And I like to slice away from me rather than sideways. Again, it's just safer. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to go back and forth you see how easy that is? It's very, very, very simple. And what I'm doing is I'm just slicing and slowly I'm getting to the point where there's not much left on my little slicer at all. So look at this. It's all I got left is that little piece. But I want you to see what I've done with this onion. It's amazing. They are teeny, tiny, thin. Look, you see how thin those are? So now I'm just going to take my onions and I'm just going to kind of pop them apart because I want to just be separate, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, if you want to put an onion on a hamburger, it's not my thing, but if you wanted to do that, this is a great way to create a paper thin um, onion slice to put on top of your hamburger. Now, you can make them thicker, and then you could make um, onion rings if you want to do that. I saw this really neat recipe on Facebook today, and it was actually um, an onion ring cheeseburger. It was a thick onion ring that they cut. And then they um, made a cheeseburger mixture, a hamburger mixture, 
and they put a little bit of five minutes of the cheese inside of that, a little bit more on top of that. Then they battered it and then they fried it. So that's when you lost me. But then we sliced it open, all this gooey cheese came out of the middle of the hamburger inside of the onion ring. It actually sounded kind of good, but I'm not a fan of fried foods. All right, so let me move this out of the way real quick. All right, so now we have our peppers and our onions. And so next thing, I'm going to put this up a little bit. So next thing we want to do is we're going to add our chicken. So this is two chicken breasts that um, I actually slice. And I wanted to give you a secret because this is something I do all the time. When you come out from the grocery store, prep your chicken, prep your food. So these are already sliced. So, you know, you buy chicken breasts, so you're going to need some that are going to be sliced for fajitas or something like this. Um, keep some for a different recipe. It's just easier to do it, and that way you can put them in a freezer container and then put a label on them that you've got sliced chicken uh, strips. So I'm going to just add our chicken right in front of there. So you just freeze them. Already sliced up. <coughs> All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little marinade to it, and this is a really simple marinade. We're going to add just a little olive oil. So this is um, about one ounce of olive oil. It's optional. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. And then we're going to add some lime juice. And so this is a fresh lime. Just going to roll it. Because when you roll a lime, you can get more juice out of it. And now we're just going to slice that lime. There we go. And then this is our zester. And our lemon, I should call it not the zester. This is the lemon lime press and zester. So you're going to take this. It looks like you should drop it into this with the curved side down, but you don't. You put it with the flat side down just like that. And then we're just going to squeeze. And when you squeeze this, it gets all the lemon juice out. And you can actually flip it over and give it a little squeeze and then flip it back over with that third. There we go. It's all that that way. And then I'm going to do the other half as well. So I just want to kind of coat this all up. Yum, yum, yum. Fresh lime juice. So think of your cocktails, anything like that that you need fresh lime juice. Don't buy it a bottle. Make sure you do this. It's so much juice and so much fresher, healthier. You can have a bunch of preservatives in there either. All right. Now, this is the zester. I should have showed you that. Let me do this real quick. This is really cool. Is you can actually add a little of the lime zest, and you can zest right on top of your food directly. If you need to measure, you can zest it into the cavity here and measure. You use this for chocolate, so everything's better with chocolate, right? So you can make some hot chocolate and just go like that, and put a little bit of chocolate on top of it. So it's actually two items in one. Okay. Now, last ingredient is our chipotle seasoning. Love me some chipotle seasoning. We're just gonna sprinkle that on there. The more the better in my opinion. You can use a tablespoon, you can use three tablespoons. It's really up to personal taste. That is one of our seasoning blends that we um, offer. Recipes call for that. Now I'm gonna just put my seal on my season sir, just like that. And if I was gonna do this overnight or in the morning, I would just flip it and then I'd put it in my refrigerator maybe in the afternoon and flip it again. But since we're doing this like instantly, we don't have time for that. So I'm just gonna shake it around just like that. Okay, all thoroughly mixed. Alrighty. And now we're gonna take our tongs and we're going to put it in a steamer basket. But you know what? My assistant still has not brought me any water. I guess I'll get my own. <laughs> All right. Here we go. That's the basket right here. Voila. Voila. I'm going to pass the fill line. Ah, nothing wrong with me. The glass is around my head, not on my eyeballs. There we go. You want to make sure you don't go past the fill line because if you do, then the water comes up to the food. And you want to steam your food, you don't want to drown your food. So now we're going to take all of our chicken and our pepper mixture and onions, and we're going to put it right inside of the steamer basket. And we're going to put it into the microwave for 18 to 20 minutes. Depends on your um, wattage of your microwave, so you know, once you figure it out. As the chicken is done, that's all you want, right? All right. Nice to have that sink right there. Easy to get to. Put the cover on just like that. 
and we're ready to go. So give me just a second. Let me pop this into the microwave. Voila. Now, one of the things that I um, just want to share with you, and you can actually, like I said, you can sprinkle some more seasoning on that before you put it in right on the top, and we can pull that right now and finish that as well. So while that's cooking, I just want to share with you what we're going to be doing with the tortillas, because obviously you've got to have tortillas for pizzas. And so we're going to be putting those in our little steamer basket that you see right here. And so I'm just going to put about four of them in there. Just like that. And then when... Those are done. I'm just going to pull it out, and I'm going to just lift up the cover away from me so I don't get a facial, and drop this basket in. I'm not going to put it back in the microwave, but I'm just going to let it sit for about two minutes, and the steam from all of the food down below will come up to my tortillas, and that's what's going to soften that up. Okay, so we'll be all ready to go. Okay, now a couple things we want to prep up. I that has some cheese for my fajitas, and of course we get some sour cream and all that kind of good stuff. And, but I wanted to share with you, um, again, another product, and this is a part of our Fusion Master line. We have a, the mincer that you can actually use for making um, sausage or black bean burgers or just grinding up um, onions and uh, carrots and things for different recipes. I love this. But I also like it for cheese because we eat a lot of cheese. My husband's family from Wisconsin, so we're cheese heads, I guess. And if you buy cheese already shredded, it's always more expensive. But here's the most part. Read the ingredients. Because first of all, it'll say cheese. And then it's going to say um, modified food starch. And they put that in there so that it doesn't clump together. But here is the best ingredient. Gold inhibitors. Oh, that sounds delicious. So I don't even know what a mold inhibitor is, but I just know that I don't want to eat it. And when I buy shredded cheese, it has mold inhibitors. Oh. So I'm just going to break my own cheese. Does it take a little bit of time? Yeah, you don't actually have to do this for every meal. If you'll just do it maybe at the beginning of the week, give me an advance of what, of the, what recipes are you going to be making, what are you going to be using cheese for, you can go ahead and shred up your mozzarella and you can shred up your um, cheddar. It's great for hard cheeses like Parmesan, so instead of buying that stuff in the green can, I mean, I just, that is not even cheese. That's not a kind of purpley thing that they make yellow. You put on spaghetti, and then put some great uh, cheese. So this works so wonderfully. First of all, it does work best on a hard surface countertop, and this is a wood um, wooden block, so it doesn't stick to this real well. So I'm going to try to have it just kind of stick onto this, but when I put it on my my actual countertops, it sticks really well because it's got a suction to it. So I'm just going to have to wing it today. And it's got a locking mechanism right here at the very bottom. So just turn this just like this. And it's the suction of it then sticks. So see, <laughs> there's my countertop. It's stuck. So that's all you got to do. We're going to put the cheese in the very top. And I've got a bowl. You must have a bowl. And then you actually just start turning the handle and it will start shredding. So this is your food shovel, for lack of a different word. Very important because if you try to use your fingers with this, you get down to the bottom and you're going to end up with fingers that look like that and that's never going to be great. You might get halfway on manicure stuff if you do that. I'm not sure about that. So yeah, so he's, he's not so much going to stay on one place for me. We'll just we'll try to make this work. So as I'm shredding, I should turn it this way so you can see it. That's a better thing. Can y'all see that? You're all muted, so you can't even tell me you can see it. There you go. But now you can see all that cheese. Let me get my bowl and put it in the So I am actually shredding all of my cheese just like that. Isn't that cool? Saves you a whole ton of money. So once you get done with the shredding, this is still going to be just a little bit in that cavity. So I'm going to stop it just like that. So we're not done. So we'll get some more. I love, I love cutting boards. Yes, and not staying where I wanted to stay. There we go. Almost done. So now I've got some freshly grated cheddar cheese. Isn't that awesome? All right. This is about done. We're going to call it done. Isn't that beautiful? Freshly grated. All right. And you know, I have a hard time grating with a rated head of grater, so this is a whole lot easier. I'm going to stick this right over here. Alrighty, so we've got a whole lot already done. So this is 
connected to the future of the silk pattern board. So again, you want to check your consultant if you like this. I love it. But watch this. It actually folds. Isn't that cool? So I can take the cheese that was on the mat. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Product of the future. Find your consultant if you like to have one of those. Now, let me tell you about this. This right here is a product for sale. But if you join Tupperware this month, you can get it for $25. Isn't that awesome? So it's a really great deal. And then when you submit your first order of $500 by the end of October, you'll also get all of the other attachments to the mincer that I told you about to make your own ground beef, you can use it for black bean burgers and so forth. And you'll get a knife, and you'll also get two more of the shredder cones, and you'll get the flexible cutting board. Aha! So that's a really, really great deal. So talk to your consultant if you're thinking about maybe um, selling that more part time to make a little extra money for Christmas. This is a great way to do it. Very flexible. You could get a job in the retail industry, you're going to get all the worst hours, and you're going to miss all of the holiday experience. So that's the best part about calling your consultant. And of course, you can do your own shopping from your own store because you can do your Tupperware parties whenever you want to, and then you can also uh, order with your discount. So we have got everything ready to go. We're just waiting for that to come out. While that's cooking, I want to take it out another product of the future. This is actually going to be available for sale in the future. But during the month of October, guess what? Our hostesses can get this. And it's only $49 for hostesses. This is our Micro Pro Grill. As you look at this, isn't it gorgeous? It's stainless steel. It is. But you know what? It's got silicone on the bottom and silicone on the top. So the microwaves bounce off of that for sure. But here's the thing that's so important. You're not going to get any penetration of the microwaves into your food. It's a true grill. So the way this works is that there's actually what we call susceptors built into the base of the stick surface. And there's also susceptors in the cover. And the susceptors are what attracts the microwaves. They're specifically designed to cut off at 450 degrees. So they will not get any hotter than 450 degrees. So that's what you call smart technology. This is a patented product by Tupperware. It's been through years of development and research. I'm very blessed because I got to actually test this product about two years ago. I had to hide this in my kitchen so nobody would see it. But it does some amazing things. It literally grills in your microwave. So for some people that might live in a condo and can't have a barbecue grill, uh, this is perfect because a lot of condominiums will not allow a barbecue grill out on the uh, lanai or the balcony. So this will allow you to be able to grill. You can use it for grilling steaks. Um, you can use it for grilling sausage. We have used this for making any kind of fried item, or not fried, but like pan fried item. We have started using this instead of turning on our stove. So I absolutely love this. Today I'm going to show you how to make some fajitas, or not fajitas, uh, quesadillas, because we got all the ingredients, right? So you, all you do is you place something inside to warm it up. It needs a two-minute warm, warm up. So it could be a piece of bread, and then you could use that bread for, if you're making sandwiches, that's perfect. Um, or you could use that bread and just warm it up if you're going to put a steak in it. Um, and instead of making garlic bread out of it or um, Maybe you're doing some kind of an Italian meal and you want to make some bruschetta. If you eat it fine, but if not, then just cut it up in cubes and put it in one of your temple module mates and you can use it for um, bread crumbs or croutons. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to put one of our uh, tortillas in here and we're going to put it in for two minutes and that will heat things up. Another thing that my husband has done a lot is he's put the butt crackers, he's laid those in here and um, put them in there to warm to heat up. And so that's our, our heat up. Uh, item that we use, and then he takes it out and puts a little cream cheese on it and a little mango chutney. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. And that's our appetizer, then what the rest of them. So we're going to put this in. Now, two things happen. You get this cover, and the cover actually fits down just like that, and it fits down on top. I don't know if it's kind of hard to see. There you go. It fits down on top of everything. So it's literally going to press. If you're making a sandwich, it kind of presses. If you're using this for, um, Again, the quesadilla, it's going to press that, and it's going to brown on the bottom, and it's going to brown on the top. But the other thing that you can do with this is make casseroles. So I've got a couple of really yummy recipes. Uh, there's a baked city recipe that's delicious. I've made all rotten potatoes in this in my microwave, perfectly browned. It's amazing. Um, we also use this for a dessert. You can use it for a, um, like a blueberry crumble or a, a peach crumble. You can do that as well. But when you're doing something like that, you don't want to put this down on top of it because then what happens is it would smash that. And so you turn it this way. 
we've actually been doing eggs in this in the microwave too. And so we don't want to smash your eggs either. So you just place it this way. This is the casserole version. So now it's just on the very top. So it's just a matter of giving it a 45 degree turn down or then put into the casserole position. So this is an amazing offer for our Tupperware host. This is only for the month of October. Um, you know, new consultants can also buy this as a sample too, so it's one more way to be able to get this now. Because when it comes out for sale, it's going to retail for $199. I know that's a little bit of money. It, it, that's not an inexpensive price, but you know what? I've got a couple of high-end appliances that I have purchased, and I don't use it near as much as this. So um, one of the things that I love in my kitchen is my Nespresso, and that was over $200. And I don't use it every day. So with this, you're going to use on a regular basis, several times a week. When you're not using your smart steamer or your stack cooker, you're going to be using this. You might actually use both, just like I am tonight. Um, so it's just it's a great investment, and of course, it does have the temple of like kind of they can't do that as well. So we're going to put that into the microwave um, as soon as we uh, finish up with this, and I'll be able to show you. How that works. So while um, we've got about seven minutes left, I want to take a minute to show you a couple of other great things that we have. Uh, first of all, if you are interested in hosting a Tupperware party with your Tupperware consultant, we have some great host offers right now. Um, you have to move really fast to take advantage of this set. This is the Deco Live set, and it comes with our serving center, our open house chip and dip tumblers, and it um, also um, our um, um, chip and dip. Also, I'm trying to thought. The serving center, the deco by the open house chip and dip tumblers, and then these two pictures. So these pictures are just a little bit different because they actually have an infuser in it. So this allows you to put sliced lemons or uh, limes inside it to flavor your water. You can put blueberries, strawberries, anything like that. Flavored water is the end thing. And instead of spending money on that, buying it already done, you can do it yourself. If you don't want to infuse your water, you don't have to. You can just simply turn and remove that and have to set this up a regular pitcher. The other thing that's really cool is I don't actually use pitchers this size all the time in our house because it's just Chris and I, and I love quantities like this. But when I have family coming in, then I do. And I wanted to show you something. This two quart pitcher will fit down inside of this one gallon pitcher. That is amazing. That is a very smart storage container that you've got there. And of course, the other ones drop right down in the too. So I'm going to share that with you because I just love the fact that they are stackable. So that is one of our host offers. The second host offer that we have is our baking set. And the baking set actually comes with almost two of everything. You're going to get two of our little snack store containers. These are designed uh, to Keep your baked goods, so they're great for cookies and candy. So the holidays coming, this is going to be awesome. I call this my nine by nine baking pan uh, for those items that are no baked dessert. So if it starts with um, a graham cracker crust, then I just put it right inside of here or the larger version of this that we have, and then I can make that up and put the seal on it and put it in my refrigerator. Because if you put it in a glass or a metal pan and you make something that is a no baked dessert, then you end up having to put plastic wrap or aluminum foil on it, and then it's balancing precariously on the orange juice and the milk in your refrigerator. It wastes a lot of space if you put it on the shelf because you can't put anything on top of plastic wrap or aluminum foil. So these are great. You can just slide that I mean, the manage dessert recipe that you make right into your microwave. So we have two of these, and unless it comes in two different colors, we have it in the cherry red and we have it in the popcorn dough. Then we also have in this set double version of all of these bowls. So this is a four-piece bowl set, and you get it in the Bordeaux and the red. So we have the fix and mix. So we have the um, large mixing bowl, the medium mixing bowl, and then we have the small mixing bowl. Aren't those awesome? So perfect classic products that every kitchen needs. And again, these all stack up inside of one another. So when you're not using them, you can always remove your seals from your Tupperware and place them underneath the bowls. So that way you'll know exactly where they are. So all of these go right down inside. But remember I told you, you get double. So you're going to get this four-piece bowl set in red, and you're going to get this four-piece bowl set in the Bordeaux. Now some of you might be saying, that's a whole lot of bowls, what am I going to do with that? So that's true. And if you don't feel like you need them, although I use them all the time, then use them as a gift. Have a Tupperware get together, and then get a set for yourself. You get the first choice of the colors, and if you want the Bordeaux, and then you can take the other one, the other half, in the red, and give it away for a Christmas gift. You can give it to one person and make them really happy, 
or you can fill it up with some treats, and then you can give all four bowls to four different people, and then you get one container as well. You get to a fifth person. You have five Christmas presents because you know people bake cookies and make candy and things like that during the holidays. And one of the worst things I could ever do is put it on a paper plate and put your gummies that you make and put plastic wrap or aluminum foil and a stick on bow. Terrible because they eat it and then they forget about it. They won't even remember. But let me tell you something. If you make those yummy cookies or that delicious candy, and you place that inside of one of these containers or inside of the bowl, every time they get this container out, they're going to say, oh my gosh, those were the cookies that Maria made. They were so good. That was the candy that Diane made. They were delicious. And they're going to think of you every single time that they get this out because it has a lifetime warranty. They're going to think about you for life. So always remember, give them something to eat and then give them something to eat. Now, there's one more thing that comes with this little set, and that is a set of measured cups and measuring spoons. So you get one or more dough in one set. Okay? So that's a beautiful hostess set. Starting this next week on Saturday, the little black and white set is going to go bye bye. So if you want to have a get together to get that, you got to have to fast. Um, you can actually share this with a friend that's recording and your top work already. But let me show you what's coming up next. We have some add ons. So your host gift can be super sized. So instead of getting what I just showed you in the red, you can add on and you can get this beautiful Tupperware. Yep, it's Tupperware. It is terrible, but this is a baking sheet, and you're going to love this. I've had these in my kitchen for years, and they have outlasted any kind of baking sheet that I have ever bought. They are amazing. This is great for making uh, cookies on. Of course, they'll slide right off. And then it also has a adorable apron, and it's got the red and the bordeaux. And I just want to tell you how cute this is. I'm not going to put this on right now because you won't be able to see, see it if I do it because I'm on camera. But it's just got a, an adjustable neck strap, okay? So you can adjust the length if you're really short or very tall. And then, of course, this is going to be hanging down on you. But let me show you this. This is a cool part. When you lift this up, this is called a cheat sheet. Thank you. Now, you might not be able to read that, so I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm going to bring it real nice and close. Because what they've done is it has all of, isn't that cute? All of the conversions. So, I mean, who knew how many tablespoons or how many teaspoons were in a fourth of a cup? So this is printed right on the underneath side of your apron. Isn't that cute? So it's a fun little gift. And again, it can be something that you keep for yourself, or maybe it's a gift for the baker in the family. So a lot of people have to work together this time of year, so that they can take all of the free product that they're earning, and they use that as gift giving. That really helps on the family budget. And then the last thing that it has is the silicone baking. So this is really nice because it comes up really high. Because how many of you have worked yourself on the oven rack right here? This is kind of got nice and high, so it protects your arm. So you've got a silicone from baking it as well. So this is um, another host gift, and that's going to be starting in just a couple of weeks. All right, my timer just went off. That was perfect timing. We're going to take that out, and we're going to put our um, uh, tortillas in there. Alrighty. Ooh. All right, so watch, because it's hot, remember? So open it away from me, so I'm going to blast you guys with some steam. Whoa! Put that right on top. Voila. So I'm just going to let this sit for just a minute or two so that we can let that steam up. And while we're doing that, now that the microwave is empty, I'm going to put my micro pro grill inside of there. Two minutes, because I'm going to heat that up. All right, while that's heating up, I want to just tell you about a couple of specials because we do have some amazing specials. I mentioned that the Smart Steamer is on sale right now, and it's a great, great sale special. Um, so you can get this for $69. And so, you know, you find yourself ordering pizza a couple of times a month and it wasn't a planned meal, then this is going to really save you a lot of money because people order pizza because they just are in a hurry. And with this, you could put dinner in the microwave and it be ready in 18 minutes, and that's faster than the pizza delivery man can put your house. So all you have to do is make sure you have those sliced up pieces of chicken all ready to go. I have put frozen chicken strips inside of here before and been able to cook it. I actually cooked it for 20 minutes instead of 18 when they were frozen, but it worked absolutely perfect. And again, if you have some vegetables in your fridge smart and you're always prepared, you can just throw it together pretty doggone quick and you're ready to roll. So we've got this set. 
again, it's not safe for kids to do it But it's always nice to have something for the leftovers because I'm not going to be able to eat all the, the um, that we have inside of here and the vegetables, just the two of us. So this is a seven-piece set of Benton Sir. And Benton Sir goes, uh, and it also goes in the freezer. So this is a product that you can place in the microwave, and then it's so pretty. It looks like a blue glass, so you can place this on the table and serve. And then if there's any leftovers, you can place the steel on it in the refrigerator, put it in the freezer if you don't want to eat it in the next couple of days. Just put your label on it. Back in the microwave, eat it. And then it goes in the dishwasher. So it's one product that does everything. This, this to me is like an essential. I have a drawer full of these, and sometimes the drawer is empty because everything's in the freezer. If you work outside of the home, this is a gotta have item because whatever you have for dinner, you can go ahead and put right inside here, put it in the refrigerator, and then you've got lunch on the go for the next day or two. Um, and the other thing you can use this for is for meal prepping. So for those of you that like to do meal prep, you can make those up on the weekend and then put them in the freezer. If you have a busy family, they're always running different ways. People can just shake out the meals as they need them and pop into the microwave to repeat for a couple of minutes. So this set normally sells for $129. So here's the fabulous special that we have. This month, only until Friday though, okay, just till Friday, you can get the seven-piece Spencer set. So it comes with four of this great size containers that you see right here. And then I love this side. This is a great size for like soup or stew. And then we also have the rectangle. And this is great for a couple of slices of pizza. Um, and you can also get a couple of yummy recipes that are desserts that you can prepare right inside of here as well. Um, this is great for half a pan of lasagna, so if you've made something like a, a casserole, you put in a long pan, you won't eat half of it, you put the other half right in here, and it'll be ready to go then in the freezer. They come out when you're in the mood for it. So this whole entire set, are you ready for this? It's called the Steam and Serve, because it's a smart steamer and the vent and serve. So it's the Steam and Serve set, you get this whole thing. For $129. $129! That's amazing! So you don't want to miss this. It ends on Friday. So, or you can just get the smart steamer for $69. Or you can get this all by itself for $125. Um, for $4 more, you're getting the smart steamer. So you might as well get that, right? So I love, love, love this. So I have um, actually some of my Regina mixture from the other day, right inside of here. And kind of move things out. Let's get the microphone grill out. Two minutes is up. All right, you ready? I want to show you. See how pretty that is? I'm going to put it back in. I'm going to flip it back over. I'm going to put it back in for two more minutes. And what we're going to do is, um, actually, I'm not going to do. I was just warming that up, looking around the room. Let's take some of our filling from our fajitas. This is from. The fajitas that I had the other night. And so it's all cooked. And I'm going to stick this inside here. And of course, we want some cheese on top of it as well. And I'm going to place this in the microwave for a couple of minutes. Cheese. And then. Cheese right here. There we go. And hold on, I'm going to get another tortilla. There we go. Because we're making a quesadilla. So I want to put this all the way down. I want to smoosh it. I don't want it to be in the casserole. I want it to be all the way down, just like that. I'm going to put this back in the microwave. And so it's not nice and brown. Now you have to probably flip it once. That'll be perfectly fine. All right, so are you ready to take a look at these yummy fajitas? Okay. Ooh, ha -ha. So we have our tortillas, and then we get all of our fajita mixture. Let's drip this around just a little bit. And right here so you can see it. I wish we had smell a vision. Isn't that beautiful? Yummy. So our chicken's all cooked. And all we've got to do is place that in the baby this, add the cheese, sour cream, and salsa, and we're ready to go. Okay. So while we're waiting for our quesadilla to finish up, I want to tell you about one more special. And that is our awesome bowl set. I don't know if I can move this without filling it. Okay, there we go. This is actually an amazing offer for the month of October. 
This is our four-piece festival set. Isn't that amazing? So with this set, you get all four of these fabulous festivals. Again, they'll nest down inside of one another as well. And so we've got a couple of different options for you. This is the eight-piece set, and it retails for $90. But during the month of October, it's buy one set, get another set for free. So for $90, you get eight holes. You get this times two. So again, find yourself a girlfriend and go in 45-45 each, and you'll have this whole stack of bowl in your kitchen. Isn't that awesome? Now, we also have these two little ones as well, and they're actually sold in a of two. So this is our mini dance bowl, and this is our extra mini dance bowl. And so if you buy the two-piece set of each of those, that makes this a six-piece set. And if you get that whole stack of bowls, I'm like, great, it's going to fall on me now. Now you've got a, a, all of this. Look at that. It's amazing, isn't it? So you've actually gone from a four-piece bowl set to a six-piece times two. So it's a 12-piece bowl set, and that 12-piece bowl set is $116, $58 each. That's $58 each for one, two, three, four, five, six bowls each. That's under $10. So it's an amazing sales special. And they're pink, so they're gorgeous. So that special is going to be um, through to October the 29th. So you want to make sure that you put your tech work consultant about these beautiful pink bowls. You know, I will share with you too that if you've got friends that have um, been battling breast cancer, then one of the things that you might want to do is get a couple of those and use them for gifts for them, fill them up with some yummy things. Um, and what a great gift that you can get them is a pink bowl. So that's our that's a bowl set and it's available just during the month of October. Isn't that a special set? Love, love, love that. We also have a purchase with purchase that's available this month. And these are our real refrigerator bowls. They have a 16 cup capacity around seal, so they're liquid tight and airtight. And they all nest down inside of one another as well, too, for easy storage. So all this nests all in your bowls. They don't have to take up a lot of space in your kitchen cabinets. Just the biggest bowl and everything down inside of it. And these little guys are on special right now. So they're only $10 when you have a $50 order. So if you purchase the Smart Steamer or the Batsa Bowls or the Steam and Source Set, you're eligible. And then you can add this with a $50 order. And they're great for anything that you need. For a little bit left of a salad. And again, you can do some really uh, cute or giftables as well for making small things like manager, chocolate covered pretzels or things like that for Christmas. These would be awesome because you could just add a little red ribbon to it and you've got a white bowl with the red ribbon. Absolutely love them. All right, timer's gone off. Let's check it out. Okay, so I lost my spatula. Whoa. Here we go. Never use metal. You always want to use a um, hot pad because it is getting hot. All right, so here's what I want you to see. I want you to see how gorgeous this is. I just really wish that there was some smell vision. You see how they're all browned up? Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So, and I'm going to flip it over just so you can see what the underneath looks like. Beautiful. Look at that. That was a quesadilla in under five minutes. So your kids could do this. Now, I want to take this out and I'm just stick it on the, the cutting board here. And the reason I want to do that is I want to just show you how easy this is going to be to clean up. Okay? So watch this. You're still going to want to use, obviously, this in silver water. It can be completely immersed. You don't have to be special with this. Don't put it in the dishwasher. But it's so easy to clean. So see, I've got some cheese residue in there. So watch this. I'm just going to take a paper towel and go right around here. And I swear, I could actually, whew, I'm hot. I can actually almost put this in the cabinet if I wanted to. Look at that. Isn't that something? Easy. Easy peasy. So it's one of those items that's a must-have. So I'm going to wipe off the top. Voila! Maybe you on the cabinet. Not really. You want to wash it, but that's how easy it is. So, you know, Tupperware products, they are all about making your life easier. What we want to do is we want to help you to truly make a difference in your family. Because so many people don't have time to cook a real meal. They do a lot of carry out, they do a lot of prepared foods. Prepared foods really aren't healthy and are a lot more expensive. And carry out also is expensive and not healthy. With our Tupperware products, you can put healthy meals on your family's table fast. And the best part about it is they have a lifetime warranty. 
So it doesn't have to be expensive. It's an investment in your kitchen. And you know what? You can get it for free. Hosting a Tupperware party allows you to be able to earn so many products absolutely free. So if free is your favorite price, then you want to talk to your Tupperware consultant about how you can have a Tupperware party as well. So that concludes our demonstration. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back up our sales flyer for the month. I'll have that visible for you to be able to take a look at. So in the meantime, thanks so much for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed it. Happy Fajita eating!